What is going on guys, Jeff here for Corals Unlimited and today we're going to be taking a look at a new LED from Reef Breeders, the Pico LED. Welcome back to the channel. This is where I talk about everything that has to do with reef keeping, mostly products, because that's what we're doing here at Corals Unlimited. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Pico LED from Reef Breeders, so let's jump into it. Uh, this is a little Pico light that is going to work out for those smaller Pico setups. Now, the box, uh, big thing here on the back, um, it shows you, or the side rather, it shows you the three different types of lights that they have. Uh, for this style of light. They have the uh, display, fuge, saltwater, and refugium. Um, the difference between the refugium and the display is the display uh, is for those tanks that are kind of like ornamental uh, algae uh, growing in them. They also uh, would be a good light for a uh, freshwater planted Pico setup. Here on the back it shows you what you get in the packaging and then here on the side it breaks down the features. So it's an eight watt LED power light. Covers up to a 15 inch cube. So as far as your coverage, you have 15 inches by 15 inches. Uh, and this light's going to work for that size aquarium. Has a built in gooseneck mount. So it isn't like some other lights on the market where you are uh, buying the light, then the mounting uh, arm as well. And then has a built in power switch, 12 month warranty, and is available in the three unique colors we talked about over here. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up. There you have it. Pretty simple in its design. Uh, you have the light and the mounting arm already put together. Power cord is fed through the mounting arm. You have a little switch here for on and off. And then no power brake, just a pigtail to an adapter, and nice little arm mount here. Uh, that arm mount, which is the point in which it would attach to the tank, I uh, could definitely accommodate up to a very thick uh, tank. We're probably talking up to an inch. You've got a nylon nut there. Basically, you're going to pin that up against the glass, and it'll stay in place. Arm, it's pretty bendy. You can go in all sorts of different configurations and then you know depending on how you want to use this uh, you can figure out basically get any angle that you are looking to get with this arm so that's pretty pretty functional so we have a little Pico uh, that we are working on here at the store and uh, let's go ahead and put this light on that Pico all right so this is the Aquatop uh, Pisces Nano Tank. It's about five gallons. Uh, it's a pretty neat little uh, Pico setup. Uh, but what we're going to be doing here, it does come with a light, but we're going to step that light up to something that's going to be a little bit more accommodating to uh, corals. And Reef Reader says that you can keep SPS corals in an eight inch cube uh, with this light. So that's something that's pretty interesting to know. Uh, we are going to kind of have to finagle uh, this setup a little bit, probably have to change the way that we have the heater um, and also this uh, light here, we'll remove that and um, get that nano light on there um, and see what we can do with it. And if you are interested in picking up one of these Aquatop uh, nano tanks, we do have them in store uh, and they are definitely a lot better than what I expected uh, for the money. So um, if you are interested, we got them. fairly confident I'm mounting this guy backwards, but that's to accommodate the heater that we have right here on the side. And with this filter that comes with this, um, one way or the other, we're going to have to have this uh, light mounted to the side and then kind of use the flexibility of its neck uh, to get it centered over the top of the tank. There you have it. We have rather quickly and successfully installed the 
uh, Pico LED light from Reef Breeders on this Aquatop uh, Nano Tank. So it uh, looks pretty sleek. I like the uh, light rim around the edge. Uh, makes you know for a little bit of a sleek appearance. And I definitely am digging the Calvin. Which I'm going to say it's probably between like 15 to 20,000 Calvin degrees uh, as far as the light spectrum goes. So definitely an interesting little light for Pico Reef tank setups. So just out of curiosity, I have a par meter here and I'm going to uh, take a little reading of this light and see how strong it is here at the top of our rock work, which that's pretty impressive. So with this little light, you're almost getting a hundred on the sand bed and depending on you know the wave action there we're bouncing between like 190 and 160 par at the top of this rock work that's pretty impressive uh, for that little light all right guys that's going to do it for today's video thank you so much for joining us if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video because we do this all the time very inconsistent but all the time so you want to be notified when it happens hit the little bell that's going to do it for this one thanks so much for joining us i'll see you next time right here with a brand new product